I do very much apologise for the sound of my voice. I sound disgusting. Well, that's all we had on then. That was the end of this tutorial. This is the hair look. Makeup look, don't even bother. Throw on a baggy jumper, finished. As flawless as Jenna Coleman, I'd say. The photo I'm looking at, I will try and show you. Isn't she a doll? So, beginning off with moisturiser. Gonna moisturise the old face. As you guys will probably know from watching Doctor Who if you do, and if not, then you'll find out now. Um, Clara Oswald, she's got a nice skin, that one. If you just won't run out right this instant, then you will be included in the YouTube video. So I've taken off the lid of the Barbara Daily Liquid Highlighter in the shade Soft Focus. So I'm applying this to the high points of the face, focusing mainly on the cheekbone area, down the nose. My skin's not great either. On camera it looks flawless. Not to make myself sound as though I think I'm flawless, but I mean, on camera my skin looks great. Off camera, it's a slightly different story. I love highlighter. I was in a bit of a down mood the other day, and me and my friends just went and swatched a load of highlighters. It's my favourite hobby now, apparently. So I'm really nasally. Using the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Foundation, which, ironically, it's the True Match, but it doesn't match my skin tone. 30? I cannot read that. It's on the top. Um, 3C, which is rose beige. Because I forgot to earlier, I've quickly just applied a little bit of the Body Shop All-in-One uh, Insta Blur. I'm going to add in some of the Body Shop Lightening Shade Adjusting Drops. It comes with like this little pipette thing, which is snazzy. Just going to apply a few drops. Uh, Jenna Coleman's got a lovely skin tone though, it's quite warm. If the foundation is slightly too dark, then it's better than it being a little bit too light. It's because I really, really like Doctor Who, and I have done since I was a very, from a very young age. I've always, always loved watching Doctor Who. It used to scare me quite a lot, and honestly, certain episodes I do have to skip through. Concealer under her eyes is flawless. Um, her entire face actually is flawless, which is brilliant. We can achieve that so easily as well. I'm just going to apply some of the Rimmel Wake Me Up under my eyes. So blooming flawless. Out of all of the assistants, I thought when Amy Pond came along, I was thinking, I finally found an assistant that I really, really like. She's got their own little quirks and things. But yeah, and then Clara came along and I just found the perfect Doctor Who assistant. Her clothing in particular is just amazing. And oh wow, that sun is bright. She's intelligent. Um, without being, you know, up herself and snobbish about it. Um, she's interested in English, she's an English teacher. Um, she has a curious mind. Um, she doesn't mind telling the doctor off every now and then, as he needs to be. Um, I think I'm going to move on to brows next, because brows is something that definitely needs doing well. As you can see, her eyebrows are genuinely flawless. I'm going to use a 17 um, eyebrow Mm, angled brush thing and the 17 brows that brow kit I will also definitely be putting in a brow gel I think brow gel is key to this look to make the eyebrows look really natural and the thing about her eyebrows is that they are quite um, quite a bit straighter than mine to straighten them out a bit I'm going to fill in from the bottom as well which I wouldn't usually do okay so this is what we're dealing with at the moment it looks very warm toned in comparison to the other one and you know what that's probably because it is um, Donna is the sort of pub lass um, normal ordinary girl with a bit of sass to her Amy was very sassy Clara had just, like curiosity um, She's the saviour of the Doctor. Jenna Coleman was also another reason why I really wanted to watch Me Before You. As soon as I saw Amelia Clark in it, then I saw Sam Claflin, and then I saw Jenna Coleman, I was like, well I have to watch this now really, don't I? By the way, that was the Ico Brow, Brow Gel Style and Define. Um, I'm going to be using a blusher from the collection Blush and Glow Palette. This one, the slightly darker one. I'm going to mix it in with a bit of a highlighter here. In the picture, it 
picture I've been looking at, she doesn't have that much blusher on, but she tends to in most She's of the pictures. She's using a little bit of Benefits Hula um, on this Lux Sheer Cheek by Zoeva. Zoeva. I've just put way too much on. Real. Sorry if the lighting's different, I've had to open my window. I put a flannel in the window, shut the window to um, block the sun out from the window. Stop saying window. Taking the Estee Lauder Signature Silky Eyeshadow Duo in the shade 06 Roseberry. As you can see, it's incredibly old, like very, very old. But I'm just going to be taking this shade here, tapping off the excess, like the true makeup artist that I am. I just want a teeny tiny bit of shimmer. I think eyeshadow is really Clara's signature thing. I think her eyes are, because she's got really nice big, big brown eyes. But eyeshadow, I'm not too sure about that. Stealer in the light palette. This brown mixed with the black. So I'm running this across the lash line and winging it out slightly. She might wear winged eyeliner, she might wear coal eyeliner. But I haven't got the perfect coal eyeliner and I can make perfect dark, dark, dark brown colour rather than using one of my brown eyeliners that aren't quite dark enough. Okay. Sort of thing you can tamper with as well. I'm also going to take that underneath the lash line. That's one thing Clara does always have is eyeshadow under the lash line. using my Ico eyelash curlers. I'm going to be using my favourite Elizabeth Arden Grand Entrance Mascara. Okay, so that is it's the eye look. It's quite smoky. Um, so it's quite highlighting. Um, so we're going to add on a little bit of this. This is Max Cream in Your Coffee. Finally, because apparently two lip products isn't enough. It's the NYX Lipstick Suede in Sandstorm. Just dabbing a little bit on. I'm going to get a brush and blend it all together. The final makeup look. It's quite glowy. Um, a slight sort of smoky winged eyeliner. Um, quite full brows and a brownie pinky lip. Um, let's move on to hair. Okay, so what we're going to do is start off with a large paddle brush, or just any brush you have at home. If you've got relatively short hair, um, she has had her hair cut throughout the series. I'd say the shortest it's ever been is probably around about here. So any shorter than that, I would just maybe brush it through, add some volumizing products. If you've got a fringe, um, try and part it down the centre. Um, she's got a really lovely fringe where it's quite full and it parts down the middle. So I don't like what my hair's doing at the moment. I have had some highlights in, which is why the ends are looking a little bit lighter. Um, but yeah, the rest of it is just a bit confused about what it's doing, I think. What we're going to begin by doing is parting our hair down the middle. She doesn't do a lot to her hair, um, old Clara. She just has a little bit of volume. And again, only at the root, really. Random sections. We don't want to tease all of it, it's literally just from the sort of fringe area onwards. Got some volume in there, you're going to want to smooth it down just a tad. This is really, really very simple, okay? So I'm just taking the top sort of sections of my hair. Don't worry if you've got fringy bits falling out. What 
one thing that can definitely be said for Clara is that her hair is always good. She's got a great barnet. What we're going to do is take the fringe out and just tuck it behind her ears. Pin them in place if you want to. So that is the hair complete. Okay, so this is the final hair and makeup look. I'm quite lucky because I have all of these things naturally in my closet because I really like her style, so we've got similar kind of clothing. I'm going to get changed now and show you an outfit that I think would be perfect for recreating Clara's look. When I was younger Take me back to when I found my heart and broke it here Made friends and lost them through the years And I've not seen the rolling fields in so long I know I've gone But I can't wait to go home And I'm on my way I really hope that you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up if you did, and I will see you all in my next video.